we could see the property burning from the front and we already knew it was around the back and the sides and if we didn't have that river, I'm not even sure we would be here. It's been a deadly, unprecedented wildfire season down under. Australia is just a little smaller than the lower 48 states. And by mid-January, fire had burned more than 25 million acres, an area larger than the state of Indiana. We've always seen bushfires, even way back to, you know, 50,000 years ago when, when Australia was settled by Aboriginals. So they are actually part of Australia's um, natural ecosystems, as you will, uh, but not, <laughs> not like what we've seen now. Australia is a land of extremes. Surrounded by the Indian and Pacific Oceans, its weather is determined by several complicated climate driving patterns. Floods, droughts, and heat waves come with the territory. The polite term is climate variability. I've had the, I guess it's the pleasure to be pregnant during two summers now. And the first summer, it was absolutely horrendous. 2019 was our hottest year on record again. Sarah Perkins Kirkpatrick is a prolific author of heat wave research. In December, we had the hottest down record for Australia collectively broken two days in a row. In one day, we smashed the record from 2013. Uh, and then the next, the very next day, we smashed the record from the day before. So it's, it's heating up. Um, and this, this is a confluence of climate change and natural variability. Days with extreme heat have dramatically increased in recent decades. Australia's Bureau of Meteorology says the country's average surface air temperature has risen one degree Celsius or 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit since 1910. You know, Australia is literally having the summer from hell over 2019, 2020. So, it's, you know, this has only happened with a one degree warming. Even slightly warmer than average temperatures load the dice, up in the odds for more frequent droughts, heat waves and wildfires. This is something we predicted decades ago. Um, climate scientists like myself said, if we continue to warm up the planet and dry out the continents, we're going to see uh, escalating wildfires. I think Australia's climate, or I know Australia's climate, is going to get hotter um, and drier in some places. The evidence there is irrefutable. Uh, we're going to have longer and more intense bushfire season. So basically what we're seeing now, we're going to see more of it, and it's going to be worse. Dire predictions, not only for Australia, but likely closer to home as evidenced by the 2019 wildfires in Alaska and California.